welcome to this video Sam Frontier video. My name is Jay Wakefield and today once again I'm reporting from Penumbra because we've got another machine to work on. This time it's something a wee bit less hateful. This is the Toshiba Satellite C855 and it's in this rather fetching red colour. Um, yeah. I love red laptops. It's different. Anyway, now the problem with this machine, I've been told it could be a hardware issue. So um, what I'm going to do is try and diagnose that. Now the issue in question is the um, AC connector, when I connect this thing to the mains, it's a wee bit loose. So I'm going to do some, I'm going to use my trusty universal power supply here. I'm going to fit a Toshiba end onto it. And we'll see, you know, we'll see how, um, how it takes that. As it turns out, um, the power supply on the Toshiba laptop was absolutely fine. Um, it had been a wee bit faulty, but um, somehow had fixed itself. The HP laptop, on the other hand, did have a faulty power supply, and um, I'm actually going to be sending one out to Keza. As it turns out, I didn't really have any power supply bit on my on my universal that would actually completely fit the Toshiba. Um, but I was able to find a bit that partially fit. Kind of like um, when I first got the Toshiba Libretto, that only came with the power supply that partially fitted into the machine. A lot of this video has kind of been cut out because it's basically me just kind of trying to find different ends. Well, I've tried the power adapter that um, part goes in and I do get a light on the machine itself. So what happens when I try the original power adapter? Again, I get a light. Now I'm told... Right, actually... Ah, there we go. I'm not plugged it in properly, so I've got a buzzing sound. So I, I, I don't know what really is up with this machine. Because, um, you know, moving the wire and all seems to be fine. To quote what Billy Corwin said in a 2010 video, I hope this video is used for YouTube and not as evidence to be sent to the Procurator Fiscal as to why I've been bent to a crisp by a faulty Toshiba power adapter. <coughs> so, I don't know, I'm just, I mean, you know, I'm just moving this machine around all over and, uh, you know, it's absolutely fine. The power, the charging light is on. So what happens if I were to power up this machine? Let's try that. Toshiba, leading innovation. I remember when their used, I remember when their slogan used to be Toshiba, in touch with yesterday, I mean tomorrow. I don't... I mean, this is actually a wee bit loose, if I'm honest. So I wonder if it'd be worth my while, you know, hearing a look at, um, you know, just kind of hearing a look at uh, 
opening this uh, machine up and just kind of taking a look inside at the connections. Actually, I've got this machine um, kind of in shot. Whoops, DVD burner. Um, I'm just kind of going to have a look, see how it does. Open up. Ah. Now that's not very good at all now, is it? Looks like it's a more... I'm not sure, actually. Nah, it's a more classic design. I thought this was kind of like um, the uh, newer Acer machines where you could just kind of get underneath by just removing this panel like um, you know, like a Dell Latitude, a modern day Dell Latitude or a ThinkPad T440P. Um, nine! Nine! I can tell you about this machine. This is an Ivy Bridge Core i3. I think it's 2.4 gigahertz, if I'm going to be completely honest. Okay, so the grand tour of this machine. Okay, so we've got the ACN, a USB 2 port, DVD burner. On the front, we don't have anything apart. Oh, yes, we do. Sorry, I tell a big fat hairy lie. Um, that stinked and has not had a, ha had a shower since the year 2007. Um, here's a multifunction card reader. Um, then there are headphone and microphone ports, a USB 3 port that could come in very handy, another USB 2 port, HDMI out, Ethernet, and VGA out, a vent and it hangs into the lock slot. And then on the back, all you really see is the laptop hinges and the battery. So yeah, that is the Toshiba Satellite C855. I quite like this machine, but uh, one thing I have discovered, which I don't, I don't know why I didn't see it before, This keyboard just feels a bit dull. These keys have so little travel that I think that they are actually ag agoraphobic. But you know what? These machines are pretty good. You know what I have to say? I know a lot of people don't like Toshiba. But, um, I mean, this one certainly worn its miles well, you know. I think um, it's, it's not a bad machine at all. It's certainly better than uh, anything that uh, would be offered to you from Hewlett Packard's stable. But, um, yeah, no, I, I like this machine. I genuinely, genuinely very much like this computer. Well, folks, it's Sunday, April the 17th, um, and I've just about sorted out um, Kez's laptop. There's a couple of things I'm going to copy from my external drive. But uh, why don't we have a look at what we've done? So I clean installed Windows 10 on it, and <coughs> it's uh, sorry about the shakiness. I don't have my tripod. It was just kind of an, you know, an impromptu thing to do this video. Don't think it's going to be too long though, because, um, yeah. So, yeah, every oh look, 11.56. It's time for a first gen Intel processor motherboard socket. Um, so, yep, the uh, machine is now running Windows, Windows 10, and as you can see, it's running it quite quickly. So, let's log in. Now it's logging in, and here we are at the desktop. Now, I've installed iTunes, so... Okay, they can get all their music. Dragon, naturally speaking, this is uh, voice activation. Activation, so she can basically dictate to her laptop what she wants to be doing with it. iTunes, yep, that's on here. Um, Norton Security with backup. And, yeah, like I said, Microsoft Word. 
Both the HP and this Toshiba have been kitted out with uh, basically the same software bundle. Except on this one, I actually uh, remembered to go to the Microsoft store and download all of the stuff that um, she actually wanted. So uh, there you go. It's, um, well, download all of our you know, pre-installed applications. So uh, let's have a look at um, what's on here. So we have, um, well, we have we have things. Let me just, yeah, there we go. Um, Amazing My Young, the Amazon app, Apple software update. I installed Audacity. Can't can you mind why? Um, Bubble Breaker, OzLogic, which is a nice defragging tool. It's uh, it has a spinning, it has a spinny disk in here, so. Uh, you know, defragging is something that can still be done. Cut the rope. A game. A cookie clicker. Candy Crush Saga. Uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking. A load more Windows games. I, I mean, I, I don't know if Keza installed these or if they came as part of the Toshiba bundle and it kind of associated itself with higher account. Get Skype. I really don't need to... I don't think I really need to do that, as I think Skype is on here. But in any case, I'll just uninstall that. Uh, there's Google Chrome and Firefox. There's um, more games. Something for an HP printer. Um, <coughs> Image Barn for CDs iTunes, Java, you kind of need that for browsing the internet still. Um, Ma Young, Microsoft Office 2013, um, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Wi-Fi. I don't think we'll be needing that anytime soon. Um, Netflix, not in security, Notepad++, why did I install that? Um, Phone, phone comparison, photos, these come with Windows 10. More games, QuickTime, again you need it for internet access. Skype, Skype Wi-Fi, Snakes and Ladders game. Uh, Sonic Dash Sport, Sumatra PDF, which is um, a tiny, tiny PDF reader. Um, recommended to me by Sansui 350A, Team Viewer. Um, all the Toshiba U utilities and um, <coughs> ultra far in a row and can you believe it reversey <laughs> uh, VLC media player it'll play just about anything Windows accessories Windows admin tools ease of access Windows feedback PowerShell Windows system uh, word search party and uh, the Xbox app and Xenio reader so, apart from a DVD decoder, I know VLC can do it, but I you know, think I'll install a DVD decoder as well, actually. Um, I think I'll be pretty much done with this machine. I've got to copy a few things for Keza, and then that'll be it done. So I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and like videos on Frontier and Facebook. In the meantime, thank you for watching this video and please join me for my next one. Chibi bye!